So it's been a long time since I last played Duck Chess, but it still exists. And it's going to take a bit of uh, concentration to adjust from uh, basically transitioning from normal chess to duck chess. Um, if you're new to duck chess, this is something I streamed a while ago. There is a, a big craze, but it's basically normal chess with inclusion of a duck. Every move basically consists of two steps. You make a normal chess move, and then you move the duck to a, a different empty square. And the duck is a blocker, so white can't move through the duck, can't capture the duck. And hopefully that all makes sense. There's a few other rules, like the game ends by capturing the king. And there's really no official concept of check. So if the king's attacked, you can still castle, which is useful to keep in mind. And I'm employing the strategy of putting the duck in front of a d-pawn because I don't want the bishop to develop. I don't want white to control too much center. And I'll develop in a hopefully somewhat harmonious way. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I can't promise that I won't be chasing waterfowl. We'll see. I think I'll play e6 and then duck. Let's keep putting the duck back here. I want to play d5 next. Fight for some center. Are you still one of the highest rated players in duck chess? My rating is 2316. I can check after this game if uh, what the, the case with my rating is. Or can I click here? Maybe I can reconfigure the scene so people can see. Actually, I'll do it after this game. <laughs> okay, that's a slightly annoying square for the duck, but I think I can cope. This still prevent the pawn from moving and the bishop from developing. Oh, I can't castle. Yeah, every single turn in this game, I've put the duck back on d3. I'm being very stubborn with my duck. And one strategy in duck chess is just to like try and achieve good pieces, be ready for a long fight. Sometimes duck chess games, they're a lot more strategic, <clears throat> but things might get quactical pretty soon. I think I'll take the knight. Because yeah, bishops should be, or uh, knights are generally more powerful than bishops in this game. And I put the duck on d4. Uh, and the reason for that is I want to guarantee myself pawn d4 next move. I think. White's debating which thing to take with. I might be winning on time very soon. <laughs> Not sure what happened to my opponent. Ooh, pawn takes. Okay, so I see a quactic. I'm going to play this and then this. Almost trapping the knight, essentially forcing the knight to trade for the bishop. And then I'll have two knights against two bishops. Hey, I just joined today. Is he playing duck chess? Yes, I am. 
You're the duck. Okay, preventing bishop takes knight. Ooh, let's defend. A pretty solid position. Now I'll play this. The square is really nice. It prevents queen e4. Um, I'll keep putting the duck back on e4. Trying to orchestrate some attack. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. If I play this... I think what I do... Oh, there's a really beautiful line. I'm going to play knight h4 and duck f3. That way I guarantee knight f3. So whatever white chooses to take, I fork. And I'm not mating, but I'm winning the queen. Yeah, now I take the queen and I'll block the... I'll block the rook from hitting the knight. Okay. So opponent got low on time, but hopefully that's a nice refresher on the strategy and quatics of duck chess. Wait, could I have taken the king? Oh, I could have taken the king. <laughs> I was so focused on winning the queen. Oops. That's one of those things like Transitioning to duck chess, I'm not used to the opponent just leaving the king hanging. So, okay, I can play more people. We'll go in order here. Playing not a bot. Please make this duck chess VOD into a YouTube video. It's not a bad idea. Um, yeah, if you're watching in the future on YouTube, let me know if you want to see more duck chess. I did see a lot of people in the YouTube comments like asking for duck chess uh, in a recent video I posted. So hopefully this content will satisfy those people. Okay, employing maybe a slightly different opening strategy, preventing the fiend cattle. Gonna develop the knights. Um, I'm gonna block the bishop. I didn't want to allow bishop g4. Do we need to give this opponent a Turing test? That's uh, that's a clever comment. We'll, we'll see based on this game how human-like they play or how duck-like they are. Okay, so I could take the knights. I could also take the pawn. Yeah, let's take the pawn. And then I'll block the attack of the queen. And yeah, the knight's ready to capture. Do you have to capture the king? Not just attack. Yeah, the game ends with capturing the king, even if the king like is technically checkmated. Um Yeah, it ends by capturing king or flagging or resignation. So, opponent wants to take my knight. Interesting. I think I just have to allow it. I could play uh, knight a4. Maybe knight a4. But then queen b4 check. If I play duck b4, there's queen a5 check. So how about I take... That was a very clever move from black. There's actually a lot of things are attacked, and the duck can only stop 
so much. So what to do? Bishop E2? Bishop E2. I'll still block the queen. If takes takes, at least I activate the bishop. Welcome back, Roker wow, Hodder. Time flies when you're watching International Chess Master. Oh, Eric happy Rosa. two years. Thank you for all your amazing work. Two years, let's go. I appreciate that. Are you winning, son? I mean, the battle is heating up. I'm down a little bit of time. <clears throat> um, yeah, just over a minute. Opponent has just over 90 seconds. We could get into like some time, some kind of time scramble. Okay, so I'll take with bishop. And I could block. I'm probably going to lose a D pawn. I think I'd rather lose a D pawn than the B pawn. I can still take the knight when I want. But yeah, to reiterate, checks are um, are not always forcing in this variation or this um yeah this variant all right let's block the bishop now but of course usually when your king's attacked you should get out of it i, mean, I could play this move let's play this move Blocking the bishop. So no bishop takes knight. I am allowing this. But then things could get very messy where like everything's hanging. Maybe I play this move. Guaranteeing knight c7. Now there's a lot of targets. A queen the rook, the knight, of course the king. The bishops are actually very strong here. Positions opened up. Okay, now I can do this and probably this. Chase the king towards the center. And I'll win the rook next. Oh, I have to watch out for my time. I'm going to lose my rook. Like, there's takes in duck b1. But it should be okay. So here's a situation I can castle. Mm, yeah, let's castle. And then this. Saving the rook. We're both very low on time, but okay. <laughs> I think black was in trouble in the final position. So let me... um. Try and wow, a lot of people want to play duck chess. <laughs> Bear with me one moment. I'm going to get the thing to display. So we have the rules here, and then, um, yeah, we can see the move list here. So, who's the highest rated player challenging me? Ooh, rating anxiety rated 1800. Okay, good luck. Quack. And quack. All right, so let's go this this way. 
yeah, there's high demand for challenges, so just have to be patient and a little bit lucky. So I'm trying to show no mercy. I'm going to go for full central control. Um, yeah, g6, duck g7 is an interesting approach to guarantee bishop g7. But I'm okay with that. Now there's a trap here. If black goes for this move, which looks enticing, I was going to play knight g5, duck f3. But now what to do? Be this move and then this move. So I'm guaranteeing pawn h5. Yeah, the issue with the challenges, at least in the duck chess server, is um, they go away once I start a game. So it'd be hard to track like the overall queue. That's interesting. So if I play h5, black's going to play g5. Maybe just bishop e3? Maybe queen d3. The reason for queen d3 is sometimes a short range defense is a bit more effective than the longer range defense. Okay. Yeah, this opponent definitely understands some strategy. But do they understand quactics? So this is a very tricky idea because the duck is going to have to go away from c6 which means my bishop will be unleashed along this diagonal. But I I guess I'm not winning anything. Feels like I'm close, though. Maybe this? Okay, creating this battery. Yeah, you can't leave the duck on the same square. That's a very big component to uh, where you should put the duck. Because sometimes you want to use the duck to prevent your opponent from doing things. But other times you want to use the duck to guarantee yourself to do things on the next move. So I play duck c6 to try and allow for queen c6 next. But I'm also having ideas of queen a6. So black has to be really, really careful here. And it might already be like losing material for black. Because I'm going to play this and then this. So preventing queen c8. And the only way to save the rook is rook b8, but then I take on a7. I'll put the duck back on c8, and the rook will be trapped. And the duck can't really do much about it, I don't think. Oh, but the knight defends a rook. So I guess I'm just winning a pawn. <laughs> yeah, I'll win a pawn. And maybe I'll go after c7, like knight b5 coming. Oh, I could play... How fancy do I want to be? Now let's keep the pressure. So now I'm threatening to take here and then play duck b7, or take here, even simpler. So I imagine black's going to play duck b7 to defend.
But yeah, it's already a difficult position. Black is getting low on time. Okay, Doug B7, good move. And now I'm going to do this and then this. So trying to attack from multiple directions. Oh, a queen c8. All right, let's take the knight and then play this. And then this and then this. Okay. A pleasant game. GG. Okay, I'm looking for high-rated opponents. I'll play Czech GM. I wonder if they're from the Czech Republic. Okay, let's play d4. I'll mix up the way I take, take opponents for future games. Czechoslovakia. <laughs> That's probably where Czechers was invented, right? Okay, so this is actually looking like a really nice opening because I'll play this and then duck d5, preventing knight d5. And now the knight, the black knight's going to be forced to one of these sad squares. I've been white the last at least three games in a row. It does feel like white has a, a reasonable advantage, at least in a lot of these openings. Okay, there's a cool idea. Oh boy. Okay. I can't resist. I'm going to take on f7. You don't see this in normal chess, but in duck chess, this is going to be fun. So I put the duck on g5, guaranteeing knight g5. Oh, but black is guaranteeing king e8. Oh, so devious. Well, I guess I'll, I'll play this and then guarantee pawn e6. It's getting really spicy. Yeah, pawn e6 and then duck c8, trapping the bishop. That's a cool idea. Could you do this tomorrow also? Are people becoming more attached to duck chess? I think once in a while it's it's fun to rekindle an old passion for a variant. So this is actually a confusing position. It's like could I could take the bishop, win back material. But I could also play this move. Try and win the queen. Or the rook. Let's play this move. And then this. Yeah, trying to use the duck to its full, full extent. Okay, black sacrifices a queen. Make sure the rook can't take. Now black does have two minor pieces for the queen. And my bishop's blocked. My queen is blocked. Let's start with b4. And duck. Probably duck d7. Ensuring no knight d7. And now the duck is pinned to the king. So black's going to have to put the duck on the d-file, probably back to d2. But any way to exploit that? Maybe rook b1. And then duck f6, preventing this. King's still attacked. b5. I think I'll just play a3. I'm not the highest rated player on the site. 
After this game, I can show the leaderboard stats. Okay, so attacking this and potentially targeting the bishop. Okay, so this is a very common quactic. I take the bishop and I block a long-range defense. No mercy. I don't understand this game. Yeah, the rules are here on the sidebar, but um, it does take some practice to fully understand. Just know that the duck blocks, it blocks things, can't be captured. Every turn we, um, we make a normal chess move and we move the duck to a, a new square. That's pretty much the, the rules of duck, of duck chess. So I'm blocking the rook, don't want to lose the pawn. Gotta watch my time. Yeah, I have an extra queen, but there's only so much I can do with extra queen. Take and this. Maybe I'll win the pawn. It's so risky to take the pawn, though. Okay. So there's two attackers. Let's play f3. Can you pre-duck? Oh, like pre-move the duck. I think you can only pre-move uh, the chess moves, as far as I know. No, yeah, I, I can only like pre-move the chess move. Ooh. Okay, let's take the knight. Now, black could take back and put the duck on g6, but then I'll win the pawn. I'm down a little bit of time. So let's move a bit quicker. Okay, win this pawn. This rook battery really doesn't mean anything. Because <laughs> I'll keep putting the duck back on the G file. I pre-move the queen. And duck B6 is coming. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I just hung the pawn. Oops. Okay, removing the bishop. I'm panicking a little bit. Ah. I have 10 seconds left. Opponent's getting low on time too. Ah. I'm not making moves fast enough. Or am I? Okay, I won the rook. Trying to make progress. Hey, it's a free king. Okay. That time I found the free king. I think that was the first game that ended with not flagging. Okay, I'll start from the top playing Elijah. Good game to my opponent though, that was a good fight. I won the queen early, but they fought very, uh, very well. Okay, so playing a two knights.
Yeah, this is kind of the go-to opening, especially when I can't move my e-pawn. Kind of defaulting to the setup. Yeah, in order for the bishop to develop, it probably has to fianchetto, which we will see. Now, in normal chess, I'd love to take the pawn and use the pin, but white would take back and put the duck on the diagonal. So, let's... I don't think I want a castle. Let's just uh, gradually get some space. Might also develop my bishop to the diagonal. Yeah, so we keep kind of trading trading the placement of the duck between d3 and e6. Like this whole game so far, the duck has only been on these two squares. So we're both forced to play around these squares. And I'm not castling because there's a chance I might start storming on the king side. Eric is pretty much the Samuel Quaxon of sport. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay, so g5 is my plan. g5, g4, attack. Maybe castle queenside, rook g8, etc. Challenge. Only put the duck on the same square the entire game. So far, I'm fulfilling that challenge. So my opponent's having connection issues. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can accomplish that this game. But that's difficult to to do if the opponent knows my limits. Interesting move. Okay, let's let's make things spicy. So I'm losing this pawn, but maybe winning this pawn. But so far, the challenge is going well. Just a nice list of duck d3. Yeah, I'm going to castle first. Want to get the other rook involved. Now, sometimes when, when it comes to rooks, the duck can block one file if it wants, but it can't block two files. So I want to make use of the, the h and g files. Eventually, you want to play g4. Okay, bishop h6. Now, this is slightly problematic. Let's play this. So, I'm going after this pawn because black can't play d3. They can play f3, though. But if it goes back to e6, I'm going to win d2. Okay, that's a free bishop. Yeah, duck d3, too strong. Such a useful square. Okay, now there's really no reason to put the duck here, but maybe there is. Maybe I want to target c2. I think if my opponent knew that I'm putting the duck on d3 every move, they could probably take advantage of it and beat me. Although here the position is becoming stronger and stronger. I'm going to go after the d-pawn. And now, uh, yeah, let's take that. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I want to play queen d3, but 
And then I can't play duck d3. <laughs> Queen d3 is just game over. But I guess I'll fulfill my challenge. Wait, now I'm just blocking myself, though. Maybe I can play this and then duck d3. No, I can't play rook d3. Okay, I'll take the pawn, I guess. Well, it's annoying. I can't use that square for my pieces. Well, duck g1 would be duck mate, but... <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Mission accomplished. Oh, let's play Jax for the Pro. We played in... Um, in... Was it Norway? Krogero? We played like in the serious classical tournament. But now it's time for... Uh... Serious duck chess. No more of this challenge of putting the duck on the same square. Although it's not a bad strategy at the beginning of the game. Yeah, candidate master. Jackster was beating me in Norway. We had a crazy, crazy game. Okay, so I can't develop the bishop. It actually might make sense to put the duck on g6, or on g7. Although... No, let's keep the, the pawn blocked. Okay, so I I guess I allowed bishop g4. Wait, what did I do there? Oh, I prevented castling. I lost the train of thought. I think what I'll do is play knight g1, duck f3. It looks ridiculous, but I want to exploit the bishop here. Maybe not a great idea. Realizing I should have played duck e2 to allow the bishop to move. I'm black taking some time. Ooh. Okay, it's getting practical. So if I take... I can't. Oh, that's a good move. Maybe I take here. Let's take and then duck f3. And then the plan is to play rook b1 after I lose a bishop. And now, oh, I can't even put the duck back, though, because I lose my queen. But I'll play h3. And basically what's happened, I lost a pawn, but I got the two knights. Okay. And now I'm threatening g4, so... Yeah, maybe there's some compensation. Yeah, g4 is prevented.
But if the duck is preventing g4, then I can kind of develop freely. It should be okay. Yeah, maybe there was a similar tactic in the previous game, but maybe not. Oh dear. That's almost checkmate. Almost duck me. I have to play king e2. We have to be really, really careful here. Let's focus. Jackster is playing very strong. Okay, now if I play this, I think I'm trapping the bishop. I'm allowing queen f4 though, so it's getting messy. But I'm pretty sure I'm winning the bishop. Um, I don't know where to put the duck. D2. Wait, what move do I want to guarantee? E1. Or do I want to stop? Maybe duck back. So my D4 we trade. This is scary. Yeah. My box threatening to essentially check maybe. So I have this and then this. This is, my, this is my escape route. This looks like checkmate, but then I'm guaranteed king f1. It's going to come down to time, I think. Okay, let's play this and then this. E5 is coming. Okay, I've consolidated. How to do this? Okay. <laughs> Slightly dirty flag. Opponent played really well, though. Move the duck far away. Yeah, that's a dirty trick. I could have put the duck on A1 to maximize my opponent's distance for the mouse. Oh, Jaxter the Pro is playing on a mouse pad. Yeah, that's got to be tough. Wait, mouse pad or a trackpad? Yeah, 3 2 is a tough time control. Good luck to Codfish. Do a couple more. Is there Duck 960? Yeah, you can probably combine any variant with Duck Chess. Duck Atomic. Duck House. C4. Okay, well, um, oh yeah, duck of war. That'd be interesting. I think there should be some analysis board. But there's no engine here. A four-player duck chess. Okay, I'll cause some annoyance for my opponent. Oh no, my duck video incoming. What should the title of the, the duck chess video be? Oh no, my duck. A long time no duck chess. Duck chess is back. 
right, let's play this move and this move. Yeah, normal chess openings are a bit different than duck chess. Like, if you try and play the London, the opponent can just stop you. Like, put a duck on f4, and then no London for you. All right, let's control the center. Any duck chess opening theory books you would recommend? I don't think there's been any books on duck chess thus far. Maybe some business opportunity, though. Oh, there goes a pawn. Pretty sure that pawn is poisonous, though, because now the bishop is stuck on the edge of the board. And it's under constant eye of the rook. And the duck will have to go back to h6. But then g6 is coming. So I don't think white can actually save the bishop. And this is a very common theme where if you go too deep into the opponent's territory, it's so much easier to trap pieces, especially bishops, because the duck just blocks the diagonal of retreat. Uh, let's play this. Yeah, if the opponent played duck g6, I would have taken the bishop and blocked the queen. Okay, I have a very devious plan. Get ready for it. It's not easy to stop. Really not easy to stop. It's smothered duck mate. That's game over. I can pre-move this. No mercy. Okay, good game. Okay, that was a lot of duck chess. Let me check my duck ranking. Leaderboard. Blitz. I'm not on the leaderboard. I guess I'm not active enough. I would be number four on the leaderboard if my rating was there. So I think it's time to wrap things up. I will return for normal chess coming soon. Um, I'm probably due for some like slower instructive rapid chess. So do stay tuned.